Today we're going to talk about true position. This is a commonly misunderstood concept. I want to nail this down. So we're going to start by looking at a parking lot. Parking lot at the mall, at the grocery store, whatever. And cars are going to come in here and park. And this guy parks in the spot closest to the entrance. And another guy comes in, parks his truck pretty close to the entrance. And then a guy in a sports car. He really doesn't like door dings, so he parks way as far away from the entrance as he can get. And then this jerk in the van comes in and backs in right next to him and gives him a door ding. Uh, another guy in a sports car parks in there. Guy in a little VW comes in, parks over here. You get the idea. Another sports car. And then somebody drives his H2 or a tank to the grocery store, and why not? We'd all love to do that. As we look at these cars and the parking jobs that they did, are any of them perfectly parked? Are they lined up exactly in the middle and perpendicular or parallel to the lines in the parking lot? No. In fact, it'd be kind of tough to tell if they're perfectly in there. But are they legally parked? Sure. They are within the lines. That's all that's required for them to be legally parked. Now, I use this example because this is how manufacturing is. You can't make two parts exactly the same. You make them really similar, but if they're exactly the same, that means you can speed up your process because they don't need to be. Everything has tolerance that it will uh, that will allow it to work. So when you look at this parking lot example, I want you to think of these lines as the drawing. The drawing is laying out these theoretically exact lines in the parking lot. They don't really have any function. They are just, here's where you need to go. Here's where the feature needs to go. And then you pull in, you're drilling a hole, uh, and putting a, machining a boss, and it just needs to be within the target. It doesn't have to be exact. It's impossible to make it exact. The only thing that's exact is what's on the drawing itself. It's, it's what's in theory. And the reason I bring this up is that this is what true position is all about. And we go back to... I keep coming back to the dartboard example if you haven't watched the other videos. You think of a dartboard, we all know the dartboard has a theoretically exact center, but you don't have to hit it. And as we oversimplify, let's just think about the bullseye on that dartboard. And we all know in concept that there is a center point in the exact center of that bullseye. But it's not marked on there because it doesn't really matter. That's just the center of the target. It only matters if our dart lands within the bullseye. And everything that lands within the bullseye gets the same number of points. And it's the same thing with manufacturing. We have, you, you can think of that as like, that's our parking spaces. I just need to land within the space that is given for me. Now, typically, let's, all these cars need to drive away right now. Get this out of here. Typically in manufacturing, we're going to define hole locations with what's called a basic dimension. And you know it's a basic dimension when it has a, the, the numbers go in here, when it has a box drawn around it. And that is exact. I can't tell you how many times that I've seen a drawing where the engineer, drafter, whatever, put a basic dimension on something and then there was no tolerance specified. It's essentially like having a little red dot right at the tip of that line. That's your, that's your bullseye. I'm like, well, where is it? Oh, there isn't one. It's, it's, I've given a basic dimension. It has to be exactly that distance, whether it's inches, millimeters, whatever, exactly that distance apart. I want you to make something in reality, that is a theoretical distance between it. <laughs> it's not achievable. 
we have to give, when we use basic dimensions, whether it's a, we're talking about position tolerance right now, but it's the same thing with uh, profile callout, any of these other ones, you use a basic dimension, where is your tolerance? Your tolerance is in your bullseye that is, of course, specified on your, uh, in your feature control frame with your position tolerance. You can uh, go back and watch those videos if that's not making sense to you. So, yeah, the size of this bullseye, that's not the feature. That's where the center of my dart, the center of my, uh, what, however big the feature is, its center line needs to fall within that bullseye. And true position is the center of that bullseye that is this. I've got two darts. It's the center of that bullseye that is exactly this distance apart. But my holes could be this far apart. The center of my holes could be as this far apart or that far apart. And if you say, well, wait a minute, I can't handle that kind of error. Well, then you need to go back and change your position tolerance to shrink the size of that bullseye. Because that's what this is about. True position identifies the center of the bullseye, the center of your target, that then the center of your feature needs to fall within. So we can't just put basic dimensions. We also don't put uh, position tolerances on something that's plus minus up here either. That that gets, I mean, now that tells me that I'm moving my, I'm allowed to take these targets and go plus amount, uh, minus amount, and then now I get to add the bullseye. That's that's not, it's not legal in gd &T, so don't even, don't even do that. Uh, but we're basically putting features, you can think about the, Think about those two bullseyes like they're drawn on the part with that basic dimension between the centers of those, and those are your targets for the center of your feature, whether you're drilling it or machining a boss on there, whatever. So I hope that makes sense. When you see, I, I brought in this example of the cars in the parking lot thinking, all right, we've got those parking lot lines that are straight and true, but they're not really features, they're just there on the pavement, and it's up to us to park our features within those lines.